U.S. troops in Afghanistan, danger lurks around every corner, but some new battlefield companions are helping to reduce the combat risks. Nick Robertson has that story. Past waiting troops, a new ally in the battle against Al-Qaeda speeds forward. Packbot, the U.S. Army's first battlefield robot, checks the trail ahead yeah, and sends back pictures. They have, they have built a wall. It's going straight and right about here. They have built a wall that, that someone's, a brick wall that someone's knocked down. Minutes later, there's the wall, and no one put at risk in the dangerous cave to find it. I don't even have to be anywhere near the cave looking through this eyepiece. I could see exactly what the... I could switch cameras so I could see what I need to see. Clearing caves and checking buildings, the main mission for the Army's newest recruit to the ranks. And while its battery packs leave it sometimes lacking the stamina of more able-bodied combatants, Packbot has been winning friends. Absolutely great addition. Um, it, uh, it's going to prove its worth, I think. Uh, we uh, used it in the cave exploration, and I think there's quite a, other, uh, quite a number of ways we can use that. Speeding those developments back at Bagram Air Base, technicians, soldiers and scientists mix in an unconventional military approach to getting the job done. The idea here was be quick. This whole process from beginning to end is 90 days. Right here is also radicalizing right traditionally slow and expensive and, uh, military right development, the $45,000 Packbox here. components are mostly commercially available. The way that commercial off-the-shelf products are developing now, you really can't take that long because once you get to a certain uh, uh, once you get to a certain level, uh, the industry's bypassed you. Ongoing projects with the two prototypes include fitting Packbot with guns, grenades, chemical agent testing, and more cameras. While no one here expects this new high-tech point man to replace combat troops anytime soon, it seems the hunt for Al-Qaeda is giving this new generation of warrior an opportunity to get its feet or tracks on the battlefield.